Welcome back to the Crypto Watch channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the price of Ethereum is smashing through important levels of resistance, and Ethereum is getting very close to seeing another bullish signal right here. But towards the end of this video, I'll be talking about a possible warning signal for Ethereum holders. So definitely make sure you're sticking around to the end of the video so that you don't miss out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, you might as well leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we are on the Ethereum deal seller chart on the daily time frame, and we've got our Fibonacci levels on the logarithmic settings. And only just yesterday, as I was recording my last Ethereum update video, the price of Ethereum was retesting this 38.2% Fibonacci level, which was coming in at around 2,900. And so obviously the price of Ethereum was successful at holding that level. And by the way, the 38.2% Fib is actually the second most important Fibonacci level. The most important Fib is the 61.8% Fibonacci level, and that is coming in at just above three and a half thousand US dollars. So as Ethereum potentially trends higher here, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on that level because we need to break above the golden pocket in order to confirm a longer term uptrend, a longer term bull run, because realistically speaking, anything below the golden pocket is just a shorter term rally. And technically speaking, we haven't actually confirmed a new uptrend on the daily chart because technically we are still forming lower highs and lower lows. But once we can start breaking above this high, right here at around 3.4k that would mean that ethereum would be finally making a new higher high and then all we need to do is form a higher low on the chart and that is what we would need to see a higher high and a higher low at least before we can start calling this any sort of uptrend on the daily chart but we do have a few bullish signals that is helping out the price of ethereum and for anyone new to the channel the ethereum three-day rsi has officially broken out to the upside a few days ago and since that breakout a few days ago we have seen more bullish price action and if you're taking a look at these other the two examples where the Ethereum three-day RSI broke above a descending line of resistance. That was basically a signal telling us that the price of Ethereum was beginning to flip much more bullish again. And in fact, we were potentially starting a new uptrend here. And in fact, in both of these scenarios, we led into a new uptrend forming for Ethereum. And so right now, Ethereum is in a similar situation as what we saw back in these two examples. But as I said earlier on the daily timeframe, technically we are not in an uptrend just yet, but seeing this signal simply increases our chances of entering into a new uptrend later on. So basically, there is a good chance that we are in the reversal phase right now before we confirm a new uptrend. And another signal here on the three-day timeframe that could help increase the probability of Ethereum entering into a new uptrend is if we finally see another bullish cross in the three-day MACD, which will happen eventually. But as of right now, we are getting much closer to one. If we continue to see more bullish price action, then we could see a bullish cross here in the three-day MACD sometime within the next one week or so. But if within the next few days, we see some more bearish price action that would simply delay a bullish cross here in the three day MACD. And it is important to mention that once we finally see the bullish cross in this indicator, we also need to see a three daily candle close to actually confirm that bullish cross. And if you simply take a look at these other examples where we saw a bullish cross in the three day MACD indicator, that was obviously a bullish signal for the price of Ethereum moving forward. But what's interesting is we saw the bullish cross after we already saw an initial spike in the Ethereum price action after we technically already bottoms out. So basically what we saw in these last two examples that we've been taking a look at is the breakout in the three-day RSI before we saw the bullish cross in the three-day MACD. And currently at the time of recording this video, that is also the same order that we are playing out right now. And now giving you a quick update on the Ethereum estimated leverage ratio, which is right now still sitting pretty close to record highs. So this just means that there still could be a lot of liquidations to come. And if you're looking at the Ethereum funding rate across all of these exchanges. Right now, the majority of funding rates, and not just for Ethereum, the majority of funding rates across the board are sitting in negative territory, and the rest are basically at their neutral values, which is 0.01%. So this means that the Ethereum short positions are more vulnerable right now, especially as the price is moving up. But even if the price was not moving up, if we were just going sideways, it is still more expensive to short Ethereum right now with negative funding rates. Because for any of the beginners out there, with negative funding rates, the Ethereum short positions have to pay fees to the Ethereum long positions. So technically speaking, this is a bullish signal for Ethereum and evidently the majority of the crypto markets. And here on the three-day time frame for Ethereum, we are still holding above this ascending line of support, making higher lows on the three-day charts. And so technically speaking, if you're looking at this alone, this is bullish for Ethereum. But once you zoom out on the charts and you take a look at the last Ethereum bull cycle back in 2017 leading into 2018, you can see that right now we are playing out something very 
similar to what we saw back here. And for anyone who's been watching this channel for a while now would know that I share patterns, whether they're bullish or bearish. And if you're looking at the outcome of that previous fractal, that was obviously bearish for the price of Ethereum. In fact, if I'm zooming into this previous price action, this is 2017 leading into 2018. And our issue right here was the fact that we could not get above the golden pocket when you're drawing the Fibonacci retracement tool from the all-time high for Ethereum down to this low. And so that is why I said earlier in the video that we must break above the golden pocket in order to confirm a longer term bull run. Because if not, if we cannot break above the golden pocket and we come back down towards these lows again, then that technically is a bearish signal. And that is what we saw last time leading into the 2018 bear market. And I'm certainly not trying to spread FUD or cause panic in the market or anything like that. As I said earlier, I simply talk about patterns and charts, whether they're bullish or bearish. And right now, the majority of charts on the daily timeframe and the three day chart, for example, are simply bullish. But this larger fractal that is possibly still in play is just something to keep an eye on in case it does end up playing out and in case we cannot break above the golden pocket that I mentioned earlier in the video. And if you want to stay up to date in the crypto market at all times, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter and the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. If you found this video useful or simply enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on any of these important updates that I post every single day. And before you click off, you might as well check out one of these uploads if you haven't already. And as always, I honestly do appreciate all of your support. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.